<laughs> so I am Kelly Kiner, I'm your life's guide for your life's plan. And I know that we've been sitting here every week and I say, Kelly Kiner with your life's plan. And then I talk about a product line that I partnered with. And I thought, I'm gonna take the time this time to not talk about the product, the product line. What I'm gonna talk about is what is your life's plan? What the heck does that even mean? First, I need to cover a little bit about myself, especially since my husband Pete didn't do this last week. I now have to take it my time to do this. <laughs> so Pete and I have actually been married for 25 years as of June. So that was our engagement picture. And then our 25th anniversary, we went to Vegas. We have three kids. We have Valerie on the left, she's 17. Lucas, the goofball in the middle, is 19, and then on the right is our oldest, Danny, and she's actually visited here a couple of times, and she's 21. Down at the bottom, we have uh, two dogs that live in our house on a regular basis, and then one that's kind of transplanted with us for a short time because our oldest daughter has moved back home. So it's kind of a zoo right now. The one on the left is actually our family dog. That He's, I think, nine years old. The one in the middle is Danny's dog, that she's almost two and she's very hyper, has lots of energy. And then the one on the right is Valerie's dog that she just got in April and uh, from the Humane Society. And uh, it's never a dull moment with those three around. She was any of the six around. <laughs> <laughs> so who am I? I'm actually just an ordinary person, but I'm on a path to becoming all that God has created me to be. I have been shown and learned so much in my lifetime and feel that I am in a position to help thousands of others find that path and walk on their own self. I was a normal child with two full-time working parents. I was actually a depressed child before depression was even really a thing. I tried a few college courses and decided that path wasn't for me, so I went to Minnesota School of Business for Administrative Secretarial and become a, became a career woman. I found the Lord at the age of 30 and finally had found what I was ultimately looking for. And that has actually been a momentous moment in my life and completely changed my life. I went from a career woman to a stay-at-home mom. I have been with five direct sales and network marketing companies over the last 29 years. I'd say of the two of the five I've been with, they were pretty much hobby and I really didn't understand the industry, so I pretty much failed. I put way more money than I ever got back out of it. I don't know if everybody's ever done that. And uh, the last three, I've really learned and grown. And I've gotten to the point where, you know, when I was 18, I didn't say, I'm gonna be in network marketing or direct sales. That wasn't really something on my plan. But what I've come to realize is that it is one of my callings. I actually love the industry and I found a company to partner with that's helping others in extremely rewarding ways. Throughout my journey, I have learned the importance of personal development, that there is a plan for each one of us. There's a reason each of us is here and most of us aren't really up to that plan for that reason. I've created your life's plan to cover the areas that I feel are the most important. Each area is one that I've personally grown hugely in and continue to grow and learn from. I want to share what I have learned with others. The whole mantra, I guess you could say, of my business is the concept of going from the caterpillar to the butterfly. A lot of us get stuck in certain stages as we go along and we never really truly get to what does that life mean? What does that purpose mean? What does that look like to be that butterfly and soar? And that's the journey I'm on and that's the journey that I want others to come along with me and to understand that and to be able to live into that. And each of those stages are not easy stages. You need somebody to go along through that with you and others to surround yourself with to be able to help you and encourage you to get through those stages and on to the next one. So what is your life's plan? Well, I am extremely motivated to make a positive impact in the world by helping people create freedom. I know we live in the land of the free. It's a different kind of freedom. I believe that many people settle for mediocrity when they deserve greatness. And it is my honor to help you realize your potential so that you can achieve everything you desire and more. I do this by encouraging you to live and walk into your back to purpose and be the person whom you were designed to be. We do this through relationships, dream building, health, and finances. This is done through helping individuals discover their life's purpose, learning how to set intentional goals, and learning how to intentionally achieve those goals while being content with where you are now. 
I think that's a big key. Sometimes we continuously look forward to, when I get this, then I'm going to be happy. But then sometimes we achieve that and we go, okay, but I'm not happy. So when I get this, I'm going to be happy. What's it look like to be content as you're on that journey and that growth? My mission is to encourage and help guide thousands of women mostly to navigate all their roles through life and find their God given purpose and path at each stage, to give them hope, knowledge, and wisdom, to guide and lead their future generations, to allow them to dream and live out their purpose audaciously, and to do this all through healthy relationships, finances, health, and dream realizing. Areas of your life plan this is those five areas I was kind of talking about. What you'll notice is the one in the middle, it actually drives all the other pieces. So goals are a big first step. So relationship with God is big to me. So no matter where you're at, you might not be a Christian yet, but maybe you're open to the concept. Maybe you just want to know, what is it like to kind of have a plan for your life? And what does that look like to help you relate to others? And then you have the relating to others. There's a lot of people come into our lives lots of different personalities. And so what does that look like? Financial freedom. I am not in any way stepping on just toes. So when I say financial, I mean we're talking just basic Dave Ramsey principles, okay? Budgeting, things like that. Mindset is huge around money. From there, honestly, you go to Jeff for the big stuff. <laughs> I'm just the basic. I right, seriously the basic. And then side hustles, that direct sales, network marketing. I'm not going to encourage you to drive for dominoes. I'm going to encourage you to create something that can be a legacy for your family once you've moved on from this life. And then I'm also partnered with a company that has products for every area of your life, and we're continuing to add more. We have another product line coming out in October I'm super excited about. And we even have for animals. We have we take care of your dogs, too. So I mean, really... Um, these pieces, health is so important. If you're not healthy, you don't feel like doing anything else. You don't care if you're moving on to the next stage, right? You just feel like crap. So your life plan step one is a goal, is a goal. So a goal without a plan is just a wish. And I'm sorry, but wishes just do not come true. <laughs> oh, sorry. So from here, so why I want to talk about a little bit about goals, because I had a real mindset issue when it came to goals, okay? When I was in high school, I would have a teacher, I'd say, let's set goals. What do you want to be five years from now? I'd be like, I, I have no idea where I want to be five years from now. I would kind of like the class to be done so I could go out in the hallway and see my friends. <laughs> I mean, that was, I had short-term goals. I really didn't have long-term goals. But I didn't understand what that looked like. And from that, I actually developed a negative mindset on goals. Because any goals that I did set, I failed. I didn't reach those goals, so I was a failure. So why would I set goals and set myself up to failure? That made no <laughs> sense to me. It's through many years of actually through network marketing, because there's so much personal development in that, that through that, I learned there's a different mindset to goals and a different way of looking at what goals are and what can they, they can truly do for you in your life. So why even talk about them if they really don't work? Why even bother, right? Well, what if they didn't work that way? What if I can show you how to set and help you get closer to achieving those goals than ever before? How and why? And I want to help answer that just really quickly. First, why do you need goals? Goals are going to get us to that next step of life, that next stage. Remember the butterfly, the uh, metamorphosis from the caterpillar to the butterfly? There, you need to have goals to go through those stages. How is not a lot of people realize that they're even needed, that they even need to have any goals? And that there's another level that you can even reach. A lot of people, like I said, are in that mediocre stage where they're just getting up, going to work, living for the weekend, and doing that for 30, 40 years until they retire. And then all of a sudden realize they don't have enough money for retirement and their greeters at Walmart. I don't think that's goal setting. That's not goal realizing, right? So there's always another level, another promotion, a better relationship, a healthier body, better finances. There's always something you can be working towards. Goals are going to take you to that next level. Earl Nightingale says people with goals succeed because they know where they are going. So sounds pretty simple, right? Well, think of this a little bit. You get to go on a cruise, right? How awesome. I think Corey's on a cruise. But you go on a cruise, right? 
And now here's the thing. Do you want the captain to send it that 